Listening to English conversations can be a great way to improve your English language skills. It allows you to hear the language being spoken in a natural and fluid way, which can help you better understand pronunciation, new words, intonation, and the rhythm of the language. Additionally, listening can help you pick up on common phrases and idioms and improve your ability to comprehend and respond to spoken English. So start listening and immerse yourself in the language to improve your English skills. Hi Robin, how are you? Hey Ronica, I'm doing well thanks. How about you? I'm good too, thanks. I was actually thinking about the coronavirus pandemic that's been going on for over a year now. What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, it's been a really tough time for everyone. The transmission of the virus has been a major concern, especially in crowded areas where social distancing is difficult to maintain. Absolutely. The symptoms of the virus can vary from person to person, but it's really scary to think that some people can become seriously ill and require medical attention. That's true, however. It is crucial to remember that this virus can be unpredictable. Therefore, it is important to take necessary precautions and follow guidelines to ensure your safety as well as the safety of those around you. Remember, prevention is better than cure. That's a good point. And the vaccines that have been developed provide strong protection against severe illness and death. Although vaccinated individuals can still get COVID-19, they are more likely to have mild or no symptoms. Yes, getting vaccinated is definitely important. It's amazing to see how much progress has been made in such a short amount of time. The global impact of the pandemic has been staggering. Millions of people worldwide have been affected with cases, deaths and recoveries reported in various countries. It is indeed disheartening to witness the impact that this virus has had on people's lives as well as the economy. However, we can all play a crucial role in preventing the spread of the virus. By following the necessary guidelines and precautions, we can reduce the risk of transmission and help protect ourselves and those around us. It is vital that we work together as a community to combat this virus and minimize its effects. Remember, every small step counts in the fight against this pandemic. Absolutely. Taking preventive measures is the need of the hour. Apart from wearing masks, practicing good hygiene, maintaining physical distance and getting vaccinated, it is equally important to avoid large gatherings and unnecessary travel. We must also be mindful of the symptoms of the virus and get tested if we experience any of them. Additionally, staying informed and up to date with the latest guidelines and developments can also help in making informed decisions. Let's all do our part in stopping the spread and protecting ourselves and those around us. It's important to stay informed and take the necessary precautions to keep ourselves and others safe during this difficult time. Well, have you been able to get vaccinated? Yes, I received my vaccine a few weeks ago. It's a relief knowing that I'm better protected now. How about you? Same here. I got my second dose recently. It's incredible how science and collaboration have led to these life-saving vaccines. Absolutely. And it's heartwarming to see communities coming together during this crisis. From frontline workers to volunteers, everyone has played a crucial role. I completely agree. The resilience and kindness people have shown are inspiring. However, we must not let our guard down. But we must remain vigilant. New variants keep emerging, so staying informed is essential. It's true that the pandemic has affected many people and we shouldn't overlook the mental health aspect of it. It's important to check in on our friends and family to make sure they are doing okay. 
Absolutely. The pandemic has caused feelings of loneliness and anxiety in many individuals. It's important to remember that a simple phone call or video chat can make a huge difference in someone's day. By reaching out to loved ones, we can help them feel connected and supported during these challenging times. Additionally, we can also encourage them to seek professional help if they are struggling with their mental health. Is there anything that has been helping you cope with the current situation? Yes, I've been doing a few things to take care of my mental health. One of the things that has helped me is practicing mindfulness and spending time in nature. I've also found that connecting with my loved ones virtually has been really beneficial for me. By the way, do you know that Lily's father is suffering from COVID-19? I'm sorry to hear and I didn't know about that. It must be difficult for her right now as her father is currently battling COVID-19. I hope he gets better soon and that she has the support she needs during this challenging time. How has he been affected? Maybe he got sick when he was outside. He went to the market and since there are a lot of sick people around, he might have caught the virus there. It's really important to be careful when you have to go out, like wearing a mask and keeping away from others. I hope he's okay and getting help if he needs it. I hope you don't mind me asking, but have you learned about the symptoms of COVID-19? It's important to be aware of the signs so that you can take the necessary steps to protect yourself and those around you. Some common symptoms include fever, cough and difficulty breathing, among others. If you or someone you know experiences any of these symptoms, it's important to seek medical attention right away and follow the guidelines provided by health authorities. That's a great point, Ronica. It's crucial that we stay informed about the symptoms and take the necessary precautions to keep ourselves and others safe. Thank you for sharing that information. By staying aware and taking the appropriate measures, we can all do our part in preventing the spread of COVID-19. Thankfully, he is slowly improving. It's been a tough battle, but we're hopeful that he will continue to recover. Lily has been amazing throughout this whole ordeal providing her father with the care and support he needs. It just goes to show how important family is during times like these. I just hope that we never have to go through this again. The pandemic has been such a difficult time for so many people. The impact of COVID-19 has been devastating and it's heartbreaking to see so many people lose their loved ones and friends. My thoughts and prayers are with all those who have been affected by this virus. We must continue to take the necessary precautions to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Yes, it's true. The pandemic has really hurt the economy. Many people, like me, have lost their jobs and are having a hard time making enough money to live. It's true, the economic impact of the pandemic has been devastating. Millions of people, including myself, have lost their jobs and are struggling to make ends meet. I know exactly how you feel, Robin. I also lost my job during the pandemic and it was a really difficult time. I faced a financial crisis and couldn't pay my bills. I had to rely on the kindness of my neighbours for help. It's important that we continue to support each other during these challenging times, whether it's through lending a helping hand or simply being there to listen and provide emotional support. During the pandemic, some of my friends and I decided to do some volunteer work to help those in need. That's wonderful, Robin. What kind of volunteer work did you do? We focused on helping people who were struggling, couldn't even afford basic necessities like food. We collected funds and distributed them to those in need. We also volunteered at local food banks and other organisations to help provide support to those who needed it most. I am so proud of you for making a difference in your community. 
It's so important for those who have the ability to help to come forward and support those who are in need. As they say, when you help others, you also help yourself. It's heartwarming to see people like you making a positive impact in the world. I am so impressed that you think for people. Thanks. The pandemic has definitely made things difficult for students. With schools closed, many students were unable to continue their studies and their education was hampered as a result. To make matters worse, many students turned to mobile phones and video games as a way to pass the time, which only made it more difficult for them to stay focused on their studies. That's a really good point, Rob. However, I think it's important to recognise that some educational institutions have taken steps to address this issue by offering online classes. It's really impressive to see how quickly some schools and teachers adapted to the situation and found ways to continue providing education to their students. Absolutely. It's definitely commendable that some institutions have found ways to continue education during these challenging times. However, it's also important to note that not every child has access to the internet or the resources required for online learning. This has unfortunately resulted in many students falling behind in their studies and missing out on valuable educational opportunities. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.